This illustration deals with the minimum wire bending space in accordance with NEC 408.3G. Now, uh, notice that uh, when we enter into an enclosure, switch, or whatever it may be, we either have the conductors uh, bent in an L-bend shape or an S or Z-bend shape. Now, this illustration shows the top of the switch. The conductors coming in on that load side, they're an S uh, or Z-bend for connection in accordance with our table 312.6b, and the next figure will illustrate that, uh, the amount of inches we need in accordance with figure 7-8. But coming into the bottom of that switch on the load side, or accident, however you want to say it, we have 250 kc mill conductors. They're been in an L-bend. Now electricians like L-bends because the conductor comes in an L shape. They can pull it toward them, stab it, and they have more control of stabbing an L bend into the terminal or lug connections that they are terminating to. And the L bend is sized from table 310.12a, not table 310.12, or excuse me, 312.6b. Now, Notice we have a figure loop for other switch heights. We can go to 11-36, chapter 11. But notice to the center of that handle in the own position, the height, maximum height, is 6 foot 7 inches. But there's not a minimum height listed. 240.24A4, those fuses have to be readily accessible. 404.8A, uh, would uh, have the six foot seven rule that we're looking at. Now, if we uh, are finding the clearance uh, requirements in inches for the uh, L bend, we go to our table 312.6A and one 250 kc mill per lug is four and a half inches. So, in the solution with the answer, the minimum clearance required is four and a half inches. Many times an inspector, they'll just go to 110.3A3 to deal with this uh, minimum uh, bending space, and it has to be provided in all enclosures, panel boards, and so forth, Will you terminate. Uh, and they go to this section to see if it, the bending space is adequate. But it all begins really in 110.3A3 if you care to look it up, uh, which we already said 110 applies to all the articles and sections of the code unless one of those codes, uh, articles or sections modify it. So our figure 7-7 along with the NEC 408.3G is in gray deals with a minimum wire bending space and illustrated here is when we're forming the conductors into an L bend, as you see on the load side of that disconnect and those fuses.